Gemini's welcome. It's your November heart spread using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot here at the new Casa in the Cancun. It's a very different area of the city here. It's like a park-like setting. We're not far from literally uh, Central Park of Cancun, they call it. <laughs> and not quite as big as Central Park in New York, but pretty amazing. It was very peaceful. Jim and I, I'm a day behind. I'm sorry. It's supposed to be Jim and I, and cancer is always Tuesday. But I've been an asshole and alligators with uh, physical stuff. I'm just feeling better today, thank God. But you know, I decided like energetically, you know, I, I can't. I mean, I could do it. I mean, sit down, crank out the 20 readings, but you know, you really can't. You know, it's not. It, it, it is a thing. It is energy. Uh, so I've learned, you know, I have limits. Um, so I can't really do it if I don't feel it. You know, if you're really just feeling so bad and having trouble talking even. So I'm just gonna catch up, you know, I'm just gonna run behind. And right now we're gonna do Gemini Heart Spread. Who's on your mind, who's in your heart? Here in this very special, peaceful, so, such good energy here. Uh, a little jungle behind me, literally. It's cool, pretty cool. There's a nice breeze blowing. I've got the doors open to the apartment. It's coming right through. I can see trees, nothing but trees on the other side of the house. It's a big park right across the street. And so, you don't have to be with them, guys. That's uh, who's in your heart, who's on your mind. Do check out the Soul Family Read. I'll put a link in the description to this reading, and it's on my site. It's a daily read collect a read for whoever resonates more about spirituality and manifestation here we're looking primarily at your romantic interests guys I'll be honest with you gang of parrots are rotting the neighborhood here you are and uh, you're facing away from your reading Gemini with this page of cups this is your energy in and around love and relationships right now. Try to do this as a baseline and separate it from your energy about this person you're thinking about. So I think with Page of Cups here, if we try to separate that from your person, it's like you're already inclined. You're, you're yearning. Uh, there's an inner yearning for love. Uh, in affection, you know, you're you're not sitting around and saying, and I'm not demeaning this either way. Is everybody sure? But you're not that person on Facebook going, ah, you know, I just love my cats and screw guys, screw girls, and hey, single forever. Um, but the fact that you're reversed and you're kind of looking back into yourself, you know, you're not out there either banging the hey, you know, you know, come get it, I'm ready uh, energy too. Like probably you're not like on a dating site. Uh, this is emotional energy, but it's like uh, you're you're receptive and you're open to this idea of offering your love uh, to someone. You know, at the deepest level, this feels to me like uh, I know when I have like an intimate love in my life, it's not just about receiving love, you know, uh, and here you are looking back at yourself, but I feel like it's uh, about you want to give that love. This is the sixth house stuff with pets and uh, why it's so powerful and pets are so powerful. Because apparently we get a lot out of getting, uh, giving love. It, it, corny, right? But as much as we get, uh, get uh, getting love uh, energetically, it does something for us. And uh, it's a great energy to be in, in terms of coming into a relationship. Um, kind of being emotionally available, emotionally ready, but, but not... Uh, you know, crazy or needy uh, with it. Um, and it's a page, it's a good energy. To, I'm always looking at the beginning of a relationship, you know, the inception and uh, the fool. Now, this is my favorite card, I think, in the whole deck. Maybe the Jim Morrison King of Cups in this particular deck, the Illuminated Tarot. Okay, the Ethereal Visions. Uh, just because he, the King of Cups so laid back, cool looking, looks like Jim Morrison. I, I do love the doors. You know, Morrison, you know, he's amused, but he's kind of an asshole as a human being. Sorry, judgmental, I know. Yeah, read Nobody Gets Out of Here Alive if you haven't. And it's a great book, and you'll see. <laughs> he's Sagittarius. <laughs> as he once said in a concert, I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> That's why I say that sometimes for Saggies. 
So the fool energy where your partner's at in and around relationships, where their mind and heart is at right now, um, boy, they're ready. Now, this person could be on the dating site. They're pretty wide open. This person's kind of like literally ready to take the leap. They're like, they're just energetically really open to a relationship, you know. Um, and so it's like you could say both of you guys, Chai T, I have to indulge. Both of you guys are, are ripe for the picking. Hmm. I got Jim and I in your person here. You're both ripe for the picking. Unlike you, your fool is not only looking into the reading, your fool is falling into the reading. It's as if they're just, they're really prepared to fall in love. It wouldn't take much, maybe. Four swords, this is how you're feeling about them. Now that you're in the relationship, now that you're interacting with them, how does it make you feel? That's what this card is supposed to show. It's somehow speaking to the fact that you're facing away from the reading with this page of cups. It's like you know that there's something, Gemini, that has to be attended to, something yet healed uh, before you can offer, turn around. You, you want to be able to just turn around and just go the other way with this and offer your cup into the reading, into this fool. Um, but you're not now that you have them. It's like, uh, it's kind of like the energy of, you know, I'm not ready. Now, right there, I can tell you, for somebody that's falling into the relationship and you to go, wait a minute, I think I jumped the gun. I need a little time to heal here. Because um, this is not exactly I'm not into you. Um, it's like, uh, it, it, it's not exactly being triggered, I don't think either. I mean, I know it's swords, but it's healing swords, healing. It's like this person... Um, has ma maybe made you realize that you need to wrap something up emotionally about a past relationship that you didn't have closure on and that's what was holding you up but this person the reason I think you're feeling like this because because you're interested in them a lot and but it that in itself is like a slap in the face a wake-up call that made you realize holy shit I can't really go there like I want to go there like they're going there like falling into the relationship because I got to take care of this cup in the past temperance what a beautiful combination for your person cross watcher <laughs> I applaud the cross watcher man you come in with the fool and then how you're feeling about your person is temperance so really literally literally Jim and I take your time uh, for somebody to fall into temperance it's Sagittarius energy just like it sounds just look it up um, someone that's patient and someone that will definitely wait and they see the value of you and here's the most important thing about temperance energy for them because this is how they feel about you Jim and I they're content that's the whole thing with temperance it's about patience because you're fine I'm a Sagittarius in my card. That baffled me for my whole life. How the fuck could patience be the Sagittarius card? Doesn't make any sense at all. Last thing we'll do we are is patient. But it's not about patience, it's just about being cool. You know, it's like you're patient because there are no red flags. You're patient because you feel peaceful inside. You're patient because there's no drama in your life. That's why you're patient. <coughs> and that's the kind of energy they're bringing to you. So it's pretty good. You got the high priestess that's covered to this deck on the bottom of the deck. I do count the bottom of the deck. The high priestess is the hollow bone. Let me be the hollow bone. That's one of the things I ask. Page of swords now. My friends, this is advice from spirit. Swords coming under the four swords. Advice from spirit in interacting with them is to look backwards your advice here Gemini this is not a sexy reading but it's a deep reading because there's something going on karmic because your person is so solid for you your person is all about you and they're all about you in a way that it's okay for you to take a minute for yourself and do what you need to do four weeks four months and even spirit, this is looking backwards and looking down. Uh, 
this is uh, having probably having a talk. There's some person in the past. The fact that he's coming up with pages, you know, maybe uh, from when you were younger, but something has to be wrapped up. Uh, maybe you are younger, they are younger. Um, you have to wrap up this energy. And this is advice from spirit, so they're saying go for it. Now let's see the advice from spirit for your other person. Five of Wands. Hmm. I'm going to clarify the Five of Wands spirit. Nine of Pentacles. Well, this makes more sense, uh, all the sense. Thank you, Spirit, because I didn't understand the Five of Wands. So, uh, advice for your person, and if you're cross watching here, um, this is not going to be easy for you to deal with. You do have the Temperance card, you are prepared to do it. Uh, but spirit wants to advise you that this is going to take some time. Four months can be a long time when you're in love in the full energy uh, with someone. Um, and you know, temperance also is fire. Um, so I have to remember it's a lot to ask. But uh, spirit is telling you to channel uh, your inner Knight of Pentacles. And this is the most, the strongest, uh, most centered, most grounded, uh, determined uh, part of yourself, okay? Um, it's like basically you're being asked to master and you know uh, wands are, are really powerful it's energy it's you need to master this energy uh, in the coming time and there's five of wands and four swords you know it may be five months time uh, before you you know have uh, ability to interact I'm talking to the cross watcher now and Jim and I, I think this is what we're looking at some period of time um, and they're being asked and to prepare themselves to, you know, it's very important, Knight of Pentacles, no playing around. It's like the Spirit's advising you this, you want to do this. This is not time for the Knight of Wands for you to be taken four months to go, woot, woot, this is my last chance to go get laid. As many times as I can, four months by strangers. Um, that would not be what's being advised there. So temperance, you do what makes you happy, what's healthy, what's constructive, you live your life. But you're, holding, you're either holding space for this person or you're not. And I think that's what you, what's going on here. It's just, you know, it's not easy. We're human. Get that. Eight of Pentacles. It's advice for the relationship as a whole. The very crucible of the heart spread here as it begins to take on the shape of the heart. And we have the outcome now. It's the last card. This is the good worker card. This is doing the good work. It's coming between the Knight of Pentacles who is looking at you. You know, your person, Gemini, is is there to receive you. And they're going to do their own work. They're going to take care of themselves. This is not a codependent relationship. This is not unhealthy. This is very healthy. Very healthy. Eight of Pentacles is very healthy. Personal responsibility. Personal initiative. Personal self-worth. True effort. Honest effort. Sincerity. In a grounded way. Yes. And the outcome is the two of wands. Wow. I'm not going to clarify that because I think I know where this is going. When this relationship comes together, and this is not a bad thing, you look at this two of wands, you know, it's high up in the tower, just looking down. It's not the Got not the person with their little backpack, two trails, and they're getting ready to go off at any moment, down one or the other. Um, this is both of you, I'm going to call it a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, Jim and I. It's going to end up with both of you. You're going to be healed. That's what this two of wands is. You're one of these wands. And your person, and there's going to be a period of time. You know, it's not like uh, when you're ready to really engage and open yourself up and have an actual relationship with this person, Jim and I, um, it, that even won't happen overnight. But it'll be like a dating. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a dating. It's good, though. It's really good energy. It's like you guys come together. It's sex. It's two wands. Um, you're, it's not choice. It's you focusing on each other and doing this little romance, fifth house, uh, you know, Leo thing. Uh, that goes on, you know, with a, a lot of heart, a lot of passion, a lot of romance. Uh, that's the outcome of the heart spread. Um, so this is kind of like my girlfriend is Mexican. She's always, she's like a Zen master. 
And my her famous saying for me now is poco y poco, mi amor, poco y poco. So this is a relationship, and you could say the same. This is poco y poco, mi amor, poco y poco. But it's okay. You have temperance. Thank you, guys.